Greetings my fellow planeswalkers and in this video I shall be opening up the 2014 core set intro pack for Psychic Labyrinth, Jace's Mind Seeker as you can see there. This was released in 2014 obviously <laughs> and the, um, the card itself it is a uh, 61 out of 249 uh, for 4 and 2 blue it is a creature with flying and the 4-4, four, four, obviously. But you already knew that, didn't you? <laughs> but yes, ignite your spark. Playing with fire, see, see for you, play with fire, sorry. Uh, see for yourself why Magic the Gathering is the most premier trading card game. Customize your own magic deck with wild, powerful spells and creatures, then challenge your friends to see whose sparks burns the brightest. Psychic Labyrinth. Pull your Pull your foe into a maze of uncertainty by manipulating their mind. If enemies dare to get in your way, send them back into the aether with your army while your army takes to the skies. Contents. A ready to play 60 card deck featuring a foil premium Jace's Mindseeker. Two sealed 15 card booster packs, a strategy insert and a magic learn to play guide. That's awesome. But yes, let's open it up and see what we get. We've got there for a second. Here is the deck itself. Oh, and here's a nice creature then. He said nice creature. <laughs> um, yes, uh, how do we open this one? From the base. Get to sleep for Jace's Mind Seeker. Not a perfect fit sleeve, but as you can see, it's lovely and foilness. And with the M14 logo, that he says. There we go. When Jace's Mind Seeker enters the battlefield, target opponent puts the top five card or his or her library into his or her graveyard. You may cast an instant or sorcery card from amongst them without paying its mana cost. So that's for 4 and 2. And it's a 4-4 four, four flying. That's awesome. Before getting into the deck itself, we shall quickly look through this one here. Oh, and it's sealed there. That means I need scissors if I can find them where they are. Here we go. Oh, some slightly not doing good. The tape there. So sorry about that. And here it's how what you need. Oh, that's all the different variety symbols there. Black and white is common. It's like silver and black is uncommon. Gold and black is rare, and like a copperish metal. Uh, on black is a mythic there. That's more about the M14 expansion. And it's what the five colours are. And that's the deck. Basic how to play little bits there. And as you can see, convent examples. I may, I may, if you want me to do it like a more in depth review of these how to play guide just say so in the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe also I'd like I'd appreciate that I'll pick one out of random and go for it or if that's if that's, if that's, if that's, if that's what you want what's you want what is you want <laughs> what if that is what you want so the deck itself 
apart from JC's Mind Seeker, of course. It's Illusionary Armor for 4 and 2. Illusionary Armor again. Rod of Ru Ruin. Claustrophobia. 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 Solemn Offering. Destroy target artifact enhancement. You gain four life. Well, that's two and white. That's not bad. Actually, that's very good. At <laughs> gaining four life. Glimpse of the future. Look at the top three cards in your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. So if you can cast any creatures or artifacts, what have you, from the graveyard. It's a nice one to have put in the graveyard. <laughs> Frost Breath. Tap up to two creatures. Those creatures don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Cause that's a good one, hopefully. <laughs> Divination. That's just drawing two cards. Staff of the of the mind magus or magus. Show of Valar. Never show of Valar. A third show of Valar. Target creature gets plus two plus four until end of turn. Of course, if you put that on Jason's mind seeker, you got a, a plus six plus uh, a six eight with flying. It's awesome. Planes. I do love these arts on planes. That one has to be my favourite so far. Well, that one has to be my favourite so far. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to quickly go through the planes because we've seen the artworks before. Oh, Island. Because it's a blue white deck. Of course, you're already going to guess that. Oh wow, that, that one. I'm going to pick a favourite between that one. Noah Bradley, good on you. Nice artwork. More islands on the way. Stonehorn Chanter. For five and a white, it says 4 4 creature. And next we have a Messenger Drake for three and two blue. It's a 3 3 creature with flying. When Messenger Drake dies, draw a card. A servant, no, nice one. It's 4 3. Ooh, that's nice. Actually, it is a very nice card. Well, I'm mostly looking at the art, you see. Water Servant. Well, not mostly. I am quickly looking for the uh, the description there, see if anything's good there. Water Servant gets plus one, minus one until end of turn. Or Water Keeper gets minus one, plus one until the end of turn. So it could be a 4-5 or even a 2-3. Uh, no, it could be a 4-3. Or even a 2-5 for 2 and 2 blue. Or even a, just a regular 3-4. <laughs> Archeomancer, or Archeomancer, however you, want to, sorry, however you want to pronounce it. It is a human wizard. Clone. You may have clone enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield. So here I have that on the battlefield. You put that on, and you've got two Jace's Mind Seekers. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. Master of Diversion. Master of Diversion. Warden of e Evos Island, or Evos Island. A second one there. Scroll Thief. Whenever Skull Three is Thief. Deals combat damage to a player. Draw the card. Hmm. Sea Coast Drake. Creature with flying. It's a 1-3. Uh, 
and Coral Merfolk for one and one blue. It's a two one creature Merfolk. Early sales. Early sailors thought there were tricks on their mind or perhaps manatees. As more and more ships were classified as lost to manatee attacks, the truth began to dawn. Sorry, did I cop off the top? Cop off the top there. Of course, last card in that deck. Put that there. And the two packs of M14 should be in here. Ah, it's sealed again. Okay, where are them scissors? Pop it over there. You are a planeswalker. You are a wonder of worlds, a seeker of new types of magic. You wield an arsenal of spells and summon legions of deadly creatures. You travel across limitless expanses of planes known as the multiverse, testing your skills and forging your own arcane dynast de <laughs> destiny. You are a planeswalker. But every planeswalker faces a choice. The energy that fuels all magic is mana, and the five colours of mana govern the styles of aspects of magic. You may choose to master one or master them all. Then you may draw the attention of other planeswalkers who will challenge your skills to the fullest. And lovely Chandra there. At least I believe that is. My apologies if it isn't. And you're more than welcome to tell me in the description in the comments down below. Boosting your deck with booster packs of M14 and their websites there. Friday Night Magic. And on with this, you have card checklist for all the um, intro packs, Light Force, Psychic Labyrinth, Death Reaper, Fire Surge and B uh, Bestial Strength from 2014 core set. This of course is Psychic Labyrinth, as you can see. And I of course will hopefully do cover all the other four. He says hopefully in due course on this channel. So that's certainly nice to have there. And here are the two packs of 2014 corset. Here are the two packs of 2014 corset. <laughs> we start off with this lovely one. Of we have to say that or she'll chop our head off with the sword she has there. Course. There was was the next block after this one. Pay no heed. Death gaze cockatrice. Goblin short cutter. Predatory sliver. Scary. <laughs> Blood bane. Vampire creature there for two two. We gathen fight. Oh, we gave them, there you go. Show of Valor. Ah, oh, thought I'd seen that. Oh, I've seen that card before, haven't I? <laughs> Verdant Haven. Dark Favour. Wild Gas. Kularian Tusker. Artifacts Hex. Artifices Hex, eh? Bubbling Cauldron. Ooh, Rise of the Dark Realms. It's a mythic. For 7 and 2 black, it's a sorcery. Put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. That is awesome. That is awesome. And of course, we've got the basic islands and the creature sliver there. So I'm going to put that in a sleeve. 
because that is that awesome. And the lovely Chandrilla. We start off with Pilarfield Ox. Oromancer, Nephilia Sea Kite, Merfolk Spy, Rewarding Maulhorn, Ground Shaker Sliver, Thunder Strike, Plummet, Destroy Target Creatures with Flying for one and a green. That's awesome. <laughs> Not for you though, but Altar's Sleep. Wild Guess. Sorcery. Skeleton Warrior. Wall of Swords for three and a white. It does three five. Creature Defender. This creature can't attack. Flying. Okay. <laughs> And the rare card is a trading post. And we have the mountains. And we have the wolf token there. That's awesome. So to some right, we have, of course, the foil card that comes with the pack, with the intro pack, and the mythic Rise of the Dark Realms. This is awesome. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed this little opening and review. If you have, please... Press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hopefully you have, and comment down below. Please do so, I would appreciate that immensely. Thank you everybody for watching. I have been your general, as you were.